Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. We're diving into one of the newest, hottest annual releases in rye from a well-established distillery. from Jim Beam is back, baby. And that's right, you might not have even known they were coming out with it this year, but we're bringing to you early review, baby. So you might remember, if you were an astute viewer of my top 10 rise of the year for last year, go watch that video if you didn't. Old Overholt 10 year cash strength was last year's 2023 release. And for, for those stat keepers, if you will, We'll do a quick stack comparison here, and then we're going to talk about the new one. Uh, Old Overhold 10 from last year was 121 proof, compute, compute, 60.5% alcohol by volume. All the barrels were pulled from warehouse V or 5, and that's an escalator warehouse. I guess the barrels rotate over time in that warehouse. Kind of cool. Again, this is a release from Beam, so that's pretty cool. MSRP last year, $99.99, or $100 hairs. Uh, Place pretty high in my top 10 rise of the year. Really enjoyed this bottle. The new 11 year. This year. So another year and another year older. Boy, we love to see that. I hope there's a 12 next year. I hope there is. We don't know. Okay, this one is obviously aged 11 years. So it's one year older. Uh, proof though went down. 107.4. Compute, compute. 53.7% alcohol by volume. So keep in mind, that's cash strength at 107.4. So they didn't cut it. It's just a lower cash drink. Now, we know Beam puts these into the barrel at 125. So actually, the, the Escalator Warehouse lost a little bit of proof last year at 121, and this lost a lot more. But interestingly enough, this year is a blend of four different warehouses. On the back, they tell you, it's Warehouse M, J, F, and 5, or V. So some of it is from the Escalator Warehouse, and then some from other parts. I guess as they pulled from like the bottom of those warehouses though, right, to make the proof go down, or at least the majority of this blend was pulled from, from lower floors, which brought the proof down. Um, still cash strength though, so there you go. Now, someone commented in my short release of this that like, hey, I'm going to be reviewing this soon, that they worked there. They said there's a lot of like 12 and 13 year old stuff in here, so that's pretty cool. Now, I mean, they don't say that. I wish they did. wish they did. They don't say that. But it's the same bottle as last year, which means it's also the same as the old granddad 114 bottle. And coincidentally, it's the same bottle as the old granddad 16 that they're coming out with this year that I'd love to get my hands on. So if one of my viewers has the old granddad 16 year uh, that they came out with this year, uh, let me know. I'd love, love to get my hands on that. Um, only knock on this bottle is they put my sticker on a little bit crooked here. Come on, a little bit crooked. You know, I hate to see that. Price has remained the same at $99.99 or $100 here. So there is Beam helping you again. Beam is putting out killer value. Honestly, they're the king of value, except for their Booker's lineup, but they're doing so much else for you, we can ignore Booker's, okay, as, a, as part of their value. Beam didn't raise the price. Everything else in your life has gone up in 2024, but not what Beam's offering you. The only thing that went up on this bottle was the age. All right, here it is in the glass color. You know, it's a it's a nice medium dark color on here. Um, for I mean, it's cast strength 107. It's a great color, I will say that. All right, on the nose, what do we get? You wanna know how it is? Oh my God, does that smell delicious. They came out swinging. Wow, this is like a dark fruit. Like, almost like a raisiny fruit. Like, real dark cherries, plums. Raisins. A very rich, rich fruit nose here, but it's very dark. Okay, this is not a bright fruit. It's not like fruit cocktail. This is a very dark, rich fruit. A very thick caramel layer on the nose here as well. Followed by just... A nice aroma of oak. I mean, 
This just smells old. It smells old. You know, I don't know if you didn't tell me this was a rye that I would say it's a rye from the nose. It's got that brown sugar caramel thing that kind of the beam is known for, but it's, you know, it has this fruit and this oak note in there. Um, there's just not much rye coming through in the nose, except I guess that's the elevated fruit note, if you will. That comes through more in rye. Wow. Phenomenal nose. All right, down the hatch. Good Lord, that's delicious. Wow. Nice and thick and viscous on the palate. Good long finish. It comes on with the fruit in the front. That darker fruit, like really dark cherry. Um, a lot of caramel in there. The rye spice hits in there. And then the finish is a lot of oak. I mean, there, there's, it's not like all oak. Don't get me wrong. If, if you're not a fan of heavy oak, it, it's oaky in a good way. And it balances perfectly with that fruit, spice, and caramel notes. Wow. Fantastic job, old overholt. Burn Bill's rating A++. Must buy. Must buy. Now, what you want to know is how does it compare to last year's Burn Bill I got last year's. You know, I loved it like you did. Or, you know, I don't, didn't, didn't love it as much as I thought I would Burn Bill last year. You know, how does it compare? Let's find out. Last year's right here. Obviously a lot higher in proof. Old over whole 10 last year's on the nose. Very different. Very different nose. There's not much fruit here. This is all kind of like peanut brittle, peanut nuttiness. And like caramel and brown sugar. Maybe a hint of like stone fruit. There's oak here, but the oak is not as sweet and rich as, as the 11. So back to the 11. Yeah, the 10 doesn't have this delicious dark fruit note. And the, the not as well aged on the oak notes coming through. That's kind of the main difference. Now, other than that, you can tell they're both from Beam. I mean, that's not a secret. I'd say that last year smelled even even less like a rye, though, than, than this year's. Yeah, I'd say nose actually goes to the old overall 11. All right, down the hatch on the 10. Wow. Man, the 10 is good. Mmm. Doesn't... Doesn't feel a ton hotter. Uh, vis you know, viscosity-wise, about the same. The 10 is, is just a lot of, like, peanut brittle. Um, there's a good oak there, caramel and brown sugar. Uh, maybe a little bit of rye spice at the end, but it's well done. But I think the Old Overhold 11 is probably more complex. We're back to the Old Overhold 11 here. The Old Overhold 11 brings a little bit more oak to the picture. It brings that kind of darker fruit note up front. It's, it's smoother, if that's a word. And you know what it really doesn't have? It's the baking spice difference. There's a lot of baking spices on Old Overhold 10. I should have said that. The 11 doesn't really have that. Okay, so if that wasn't your, you know, if 10 wasn't your jam, 11 might be. Um, if you like the 10, the 11's different, but for me it's better. So um, I think the Old Overhold 11's a buy, absolute buy. Whether you like the 10 or not, I think you should, pro you should probably get the 11. Okay, how about another aged rye from its same parent company? Knob Creek 10 year, baby. So proof is less, okay? Proof on this bad boy is 100. 10 years old, so it's obviously less than our old overhold 11. Let's give the Knob Creek 10 a nosing. Very different, really, than either one of those. The Knob Creek 10 is just, a, it's a lot less sweet on the nose. The, the other ones were, were sweeter on the nose. This one is a little bit drier, leans more into the oak, not much fruit. I still love the nose of the Knob Creek 10 here, the rye though. All right, down the hatch. Man, that's good. If you like a lot of oak, Knob Creek 10 is actually oakier. Um, it's not a sweet oak, it's a little bit drier of an oak. It's very good. I mean, I love it. I love it. It's it's 70 doll hairs versus 100, right? I think the Old Overhold 11 is better. You know, and it feels feels fair. That 30 doll hair jump feels fair. Um, but just keep in mind, although they're all beam, you know, the 10, uh, the Old Overhold 10 from last year, Knob Creek 10 from this year, and then the Old Overhold 11 from this year, they're all a little bit different, right? So, 
Knob Creek 10, shorter finish though, right? It doesn't feel as viscous on the mouth. It's just, it's just not cast strength, right? Sadly, it's not. Um, but it does have a good oaky texture. All right, back to the old Overhold 11. Oh man, that old Overhold 11 beats it down. Beats it down. After tasting the Knob Creek 10, then going to old Overhold 11, I got more oak out of the old Overhold 11. So it brings the same oakiness that the Knob Creek 10 had. A little bit sweeter, but with the addition of, of, of the fruits. So old Overhold 11 wins there too. And, and is worth an extra thirty doll here. Trust me, if you can if you can get it, I think it's one of the top rides this year. One final comparison tonight, because I know my my true fans will want to know. Sagamore nine year old ride, twenty twenty four release. Oh, how are you? One of my favorite rides of the year so far. Proof on this one's one hundred twelve point six. Compute compute fifty six point three percent alcohol by volume. Go watch my full review on this. We'll also pour that up in the mini here. So she's younger, okay? Old Overhold 11 is 11 year old plus, you know, if, the, if what that person said was true, there's 12 and 13 in the mix, right? This is all straight nine. Nothing else older in here, it's all straight nine. Now, I'll be if the Sagamore nine year ain't just a touch darker than the Old Overhold 11. I mean, that is something, okay? That's something. All right, Sagamore nine year on the nose. Oh, just, just the most wonderful fruit bouquet you've ever smelled in your life exists right here. Oranges, chocolate, jams of all sizes. Wow, wow. What it doesn't have though, not the amount of oak coming off the old Overhold 11. But hey, it's not as old. Exciting more nine down the hatch. Oh, God damn. Oh, my God. So thick. So syrupy. Just this dance of fruits, baby. Fruits and caramel and everything you love is just sticky icky and combined in that Sagamore 9. That's good, man, that's good. All right, back to the old Overhold 11. Man, man, that's close. Different flavor profiles, but boy, oh boy. Again, the old Overhold 11 has that pop of fruit. There's caramels, there's a little bit of that nuttiness there. And then just some well-aged oak. It's not quite as thick on the mouthfeel, I will say. Both cats, but it's not quite as thick on the mouthfeel as a Sagamore. Man, that's kind of a draw for me. Um, I'm gonna, ooh, I'm hard pressed to pick a winner there. So to finish out, should you buy Old Overhold 11? Absolutely! If you're a smart man, you will. If you're dumb, you're gonna buy like Wild Turkey Masters Keep Triumph. You know, like, oh! Now, I don't know how I'm gonna have, <laughs> this, this is probably gonna be a spoiler. I might release this video before the wild turkey, or I might not. I might not. Might release the turkey. If I release the turkey first, it's gonna make sense. But here's the wild turkey masters keep triumph. Three hundred doll hairs a bottle. Ten years old. Hundred and four proof. Should you be impressed? No, probably not. Okay, so compared to the old overhold eleven, here we go. Ready? I mean, just like generic, this is like drinking Blanton's after drinking those two King hitters right there. I get like the faintest whiff of like a vanilla caramel. It, it wants to have oak, but it just hasn't matured yet. And it, it wants to have a fruit, but you know, it can only buy the fruit on sale and it got like two pieces of dice fruit instead of the whole melon. You know, it's just not, not quite there. Down the hatch on the Wild Turkey Master's Key. It's like water. There's no flavor until the finish. Which there's like, there was like citrus and a little bit of oak. Holy unimpressive. And you want to say that's 300 doll hairs. A hundred. Eighty. Are you shitting me? I mean these things just wallop that Wild Turkey. 
I hate I hate wild turkey anymore, especially in 2024. They've really just pissed me off. So anyway, back to our buy this. This is killer. This is killer good. Um, it's better than Old Overhaul 10, and it's a different animal. It really is. I mean, I know they're both beam, but the Old Overhaul 10 leans into a different flavor profile than what they did with the 11, and what they did here was really good. So congrats, beam. Good job. Thank you. Thank you for improving something, giving us something a little bit different, and keeping the price the same. I mean, can we get can we get a slow clap for Beam in 2024? Just can't be stopped. If you like what we saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you again next time. Have a good evening, everybody.